Minecraft Manhunt, one of the most successful and popular series on YouTube, and arguably Dream's most well-known series. Spanning a total of 17 episodes, the series began on December the 26th, 2019, with the video Beating Minecraft But My Friend Tries to Stop Me. The series was one of the longest running on his channel, as well as one of the most requested. But something is off. Recently, when making my video about Dream and his future on YouTube, I was watching through some of his Manhunt videos looking for good background footage. I noticed that certain events and things worked out very well for Dream, far too often to be just a coincidence, and seemed scripted I guess. Talking to members of my Discord and other fans of Dream, I found that a decent number of them had similar suspicions. Many people have begun to believe that these videos are scripted, or have scripted segments and elements in them. It seems that every new manhunt tops a previous one, entailing crazier events and even more clutch or epic plays. Other people point out that things just tend to go far too well for Dream, far too often, or talk about certain events and things he does which look suspicious. But it has never been confirmed or denied as to whether the series is scripted. So let me explain and show to you today, the unsolved mystery of Minecraft Manhunt. But just quickly, I want to say that if you are enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. Anyways, let's get right to it. Okay, so let me give a quick rundown of how Manhunt works for those of you who don't know. So, the format can change a bit from episode to episode, but generally there are two different teams. The speedrunner or player trying to beat the game, normally Dream, and the hunters or assassins, whoever is trying to stop him. Normally his friends such as George Not Found, Sapnap and Bad Boy Halo. If the hunters kill Dream, then they win, and if Dream kills the Ender Dragon without dying, then he wins. The hunters are allowed to die as many times as possible, and they have a compass which points to Dream's location, so he can't just run away super far. Alongside the general manhunt element, sometimes twists are added, such as giving the speedrunner the ability to freeze the hunter in place when he looks at them, or the hunter gets full diamond armor, and even having multiple hunters. This keeps the video fresh and entertaining. He's even had special guests such as the creator of Minecraft himself, Notch, and even Mr. Beast. But enough about that. You should understand how Manhunt works now, and we can move on. Let me now show you some clips and scenarios which myself and others have found suspicious. Now you should just know that these clips are not 100% confirmed to be scripted, but it is just speculated based on their unusual nature and crazy coincidences or even events which happen far too often to just be dumb luck. Clip 1 from Minecraft Speedrunner vs 3 Hunters Rematch. Dream is put down to one heart by the three hunters and as he frantically tries to make an escape he drinks a potion of fire resistance pretending to have drunk a potion of strength. The three hunters all abandon the fight and turn and run. First of all, strength potions have a very dark red particle effect whereas fire resistance has a light orange and they are noticeably different. Second of all, he was very low, as you can hear them say, as they are chasing him. He's like a one-shot, come on, just click it one more time. And even with a strength potion, only one of the three hunters has to hit him once to kill him. All three turning and running seems like an insane overreaction. Third of all, while the three hunters are running, Dream actually hits Bad Boy Halo with his sword twice, which would have done massive damage if he had had strength, and then he also hits George once. They would have realised that he didn't have strength by just the lack of damage he was inflicting, but they didn't. Clip 2 from Speedrunner vs 3 Hunters Grand Finale Dream finds diamonds in a cave but doesn't have an iron ingots to craft an iron pick. He crafts two furnaces and begins smelting three iron. The iron doesn't smelt fast enough and the hunters catch up to him, forcing him to run from the diamonds just as he's about to start mining them, with almost comedic like movie timing. First of all, he crafts two furnaces but only uses one. You can see him putting three iron ore into one furnace along with one coal to begin smelting it and then instead of using his second furnace and his remaining coal, he puts his wooden pick into the same furnace. He could have easily saved 10 to 20 seconds if he had used the other furnace, but he didn't because he wanted the hunters to catch up and have an epic and intense chase scene where he just misses out on mining diamonds. Clip 3 from Minecraft Speedrunner vs 3 Hunters Finale Rematch Dreamer enters his portal to leave the nether, but unbeknownst to him, the three hunters have set up a trap and are waiting at the other side of his portal. When he goes through, the hunters place a lava bucket on him and Dream swiftly puts it out with his water bucket, but Bad Boy Halo steals the water and this forces Dream to jump off and fortunately mount a horse to break his fall. From the beginning, this is suspicious, as Dream could have quickly built another portal at the lava lake as he normally does, but for some reason he decides to pillar up into the sky and build it there. Why would he do this? 
Second, the odds of him successfully falling and mounting a horse are incredibly low. I tried it multiple times myself and was only able to get it twice after about 10 tries, and this only happened after I had failed and practiced it a few times. But it is still possible, so we can give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess. Clip 4 from Minecraft Speedrunner vs 3 Hunters Rematch Dream is being chased through a jungle which is difficult to navigate and is struggling to escape the hunters. He jumps into water and the hunters catch up to him and begin attacking him, putting him down to half a heart, but he manages to miraculously escape still. First, when he was put down to half a heart, the hunters are still close enough to hit him again. Dream even takes some time to get back down into the water and start swimming, but nobody hits him and it seems as if they intentionally didn't. Second, when he gets to land, the hunters are still hot on his trail and he needs to open his inventory to get food. The hunters were right behind him and Dream still managed to shift click food into his hotbar without dying. But wait, there is a very convenient cut just as he gets the food into his hotbar. Why would he cut here? This is still a very intense moment. It seems very unnecessary. The hunters were very close to him and it's likely that by the time Dream opened his inventory and got food, the hunters would have caught up and killed him, which is why I believe he cut away. Now there are a few other clips which I want to talk about which aren't as damning, but are still interesting and suspicious. There was a funny incident in Minecraft Speedrunner vs 3 Hunters finale, whereby Dream surprised the 3 Hunters and began fighting them in a cave, but started dying and couldn't escape. He for some reason decided to brew invisibility potions previously, and when he was close to dying, he threw one, confusing the Hunters as they no longer knew who was who. Or did they? At the time he threw the potion, George had clear sight of him and actually hit him after he went invisible, putting him down to 2 hearts, meaning one more hit would have killed him. Dream somewhat casually walks away, and George seems to have lost him, although you could have easily kept track of him, as the three hunters were all standing still, and you can see Dream leap out of the corner and to the side. Another interesting factor is that they all had the exact same items, a diamond sword, shield, and full iron, but when bad boy Halo died, he had diamonds on him, which for some reason he didn't use to craft any armor, and even if he didn't have enough, it's likely the other two hunters would have had some diamonds as well. It seems as if they intentionally made it so they all looked identical so this play would work. Finally, Sap Nap watches from only 3 or so blocks away as Dream kills bad boy Halo and even though it shows up in the kill feed, he doesn't attack Dream, potentially because Dream had low health. Now let's talk about the grand finale, the epic scene at the end, whereby the 3 hunters decide to enter the end before Dream in a crazy twist of roles. First of all, let me explain what happened. Dream knows they are going to try and trap the end spawn location and sends through a bunch of TNT which blows a hole in the hunter's platform and knocks them all into the void. Now this was a great end to the finale and all, but come on, in an earlier manhunt, Bad Boy Halo enters the end first as well, except he places lava on the spawn platform to burn Dream alive when he gets in. Why didn't they do that or at least trap the end spawn better? I know that Dream did drink a fire resistance potion, but it still would have made it much more difficult for him to escape if they had put lava or something. The trap they made was very lackluster considering all the time they had in the end to prepare. They didn't even slab the spawn location, so Dream could have built out. Also, the fact that they stood on the side of the platform which was exposed to the void is interesting, as there was plenty of space over on the other side. Now, just one general point about the manhunts I want to make. The hunters don't really seem to improve that much or coordinate well. Take this clip for example. Not only is Dream leading them along a narrow man-made tunnel, but Dream has blocked up the door with dirt and it's clear he's done some tampering. But, they all blindly follow and not one of them calls out the end crystal or anything. I feel like if you played as many manhunts as the three hunters did, you would start to learn and recognize when Dream is trying to trap or set something up, but rarely do they ever. It sometimes seems like they are headless chickens which Dream has to find the most entertaining way to kill. But anyways, I made this video as I wanted to highlight some of the mysteries and controversies surrounding the Minecraft Manhunt series, and I just want to be clear that none of this is confirmed evidence of scripting or any other kind of tampering. This video is called Unsolved Mysteries after all, inspired by the man himself, Dream, and as such, I leave it up to you guys, the audience, to make up your own mind and decide for yourself if you think it's scripted or not. Either way, I want to say that the videos are incredibly entertaining, and I, along with millions of others, enjoy them a lot, and even if they were scripted, I would probably still watch them. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you like these short mystery type videos inspired by Dream, be sure to let me know in the comments as I may continue the series, and if you have any information about other interesting topics you want me to cover, be sure to comment below or join my discord. Feel free to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching.